Good afternoon, everyone. Would everyone please uh, stay standard, uh, rise if you are able, and join the Bluefield Grade 10 and 11 concert band for the singing of our national anthem. Platform guests, graduates, Bluefield staff, parents, guardians, and friends. My name is Lane Pino, Bluefield class of 1992, father of graduate Dominic Pino. It is my pleasure to be representing the Bluefield parents and guardians as a master of ceremonies today. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Bluefield High School class of 2023. I wish to extend my congratulations to the graduates on behalf of all the parents and guardians. You have worked hard to earn your high school diploma and we are extremely proud of you. It is my pleasure to introduce our platform guests. Beginning on my immediate left, Stephen Wen, Principal, Debbie Casey, Vice Principal, Jeff McDonald, Vice Principal, Jennifer Gillen, School Counselor, Tammy Jo Ald, School Counselor, and I will now invite Stephen Wen to share the Principal's remarks. Welcome parents, guardians, family members, friends, staff, and most importantly, graduates. My name is Stephen Wen, Principal of Bluefield. Before I start, I would like to have a moment in silence in the memory of all loved ones lost this year that are connected to our staff, our students, or our guests. Thank you. I would like to begin by thanking our Bluefield Band for the fantastic job they've been doing all year and for playing here today. Thank you to the band. I'd also like to thank Lane Pino for acting as our Master of Ceremonies this afternoon. Lane is representing all parents and guardians in his role of MC. Thank you, Lane. This graduating class had a high school experience like no other in the history of our Bluefield graduating classes. They have navigated the many versions of safety procedures, had their learnings both at home and at school, and have been involved in what we would call modified extracurricular activities. 
I want to thank them for their resilience, patience, and leadership they displayed during this time. A round of applause, please. I would also like to thank the members of this year's home and school. These individuals attended hours of meetings and added to some great conversations that had a positive impact on our school throughout the year. So thank you to the home and school committee. <clears throat> Bluefield is a very busy school full of many extracurricular events, clubs, and teams. I will now highlight a few of them so you can appreciate the depths of experiences that our Bobcats can take part in during their time at Bluefield. Amazing talents were shown by the efforts put forth by our athletes in the gym and on our sports fields. This year, our sports teams won the provincial banners for senior AAA men's rugby, juvenile men's track and field, and senior golf, who, by the way, are a three-peat. They've won it three years in a row. Student talents were also on display during the excellent concerts performed by our band, both at the school and at other locations. Some examples of these, but not limited to, would be the hosting of the Family of Schools band concerts with East Wilshire, playing at the Christmas tree lighting in Cornwall, performing at our Christmas and spring concert at the school, performing at the PEI band days, performing at the Halifax band. On top of all that is the different awards they've won. Some examples of the awards, but not all, would be the silver medal standing for the jazz band and the gold medal standing for the concert band at the Atlantic Festival of Music. <clears throat> Continuing with the arts, we have six of our graduating students in front of me that are graduating from, with their academy diploma program in arts and culture this year. Former Bobcats from the UPI Sustainable Engineering and Design Program came back to Bluefield and shared their experiences as part of the UPI Engineering Brigade in Honduras with our grade 12 physics class. With the guidance from the UPI Engineering students, our grade 12 physics class students created working prototypes that could possibly be implemented in the effort to help people within the community of Honduras. The Culinary 801 students ran our Blue Bistro again for another successful year, serving delicious meals to our staff and our students. This gives our culinary class a sense of what it is like to be part of the industry. In addition to this, our carpentry classes continue to support the community, the school community, and nonprofit organizations. Some examples, again, but not limited to, are the various projects that the carpentry class has put together for our school, the multiple projects they put together for our feeder schools, and their continued support with projects with the watershed group. On top of that, they also built the second annual Bluefield Builds for Hope building, which is a fundraiser to raise funds for families with serious medical needs in the Bluefield family. This year, we raised over $14,000 to support them. Our Leadership 621A class had another productive year work with the community partners such as Big Brothers Big Sisters, Special Olympics PEI, and Parasport PEI, which gave our students great opportunities to work on their leadership skills. These students also created their own initiatives to connect their community and to help raise funds and awareness of our own Step Up program at Bluefield. The Step Up program is a program run by Bluefield students that does fundraising to support families throughout the school year. And speaking of Step Up, this year our Step Up program was a huge success as they raised enough funds from the community with the support from you folks to support si over 60 families during Christmas and throughout the school year. Again, this year we were able to run our breakfast program 
which is run from September right till June. And that is a big thank you to our students and our staff volunteers that helped this run. Our Blue Crew raised over $1,000 for the Easter Seals in their annual Freezy Sale. And our Student Council had another amazing year. They were able to ensure all students had the best year they possibly could. For that, I want to thank them for all their hard work and dedication that they do in order to foster positive, fun, and memorable experiences for our students at Bluefield. As the school year came to a close, we celebrated our students' achievements with our Arts Coffee House and our Athletic Banquet, where we recognized our artistic and sports accomplishments of the year. A big congratulations to all those recognized during those events. I ask all of you to remember that all of these events would not have happened, nor would they have been as successful as they were, without all the community and staff volunteers. Do this, I do say a huge thank you, and I'd like a round of applause for those people. All these extracurricular activities are in addition to the first-rate education these students have experienced while attending Bluefield. I want to say thank you to the staff at Bluefield for their dedication to motivating students to always do their best. The staff is an incredibly talented, dedicated, and hardworking group of individuals. And as you heard, Bluefield is a whirlwind of educational and extracurricular activities, and every staff member contributes. So thank you to the Bluefield staff. <laughs> Speaking of staff, a congratulations goes out to Amanda Burry, Amy McPherson, Chloe McGurk, Randy Nicholson, and Lizanne Susie, who have completed their masters this year. They are great examples to this graduating class of lifelong learning. On top of that, I want to congratulate our award-winning staff members this year to Kirsten McLean, who also played the music, well, directed the music, sorry, I'm going off my script, I get in trouble for that. Uh, she was awarded the Queen Elizabeth Platinum Jubilee Medal in January for her work with music education and honoring our local veterans. So congratulations, Kirsten. <laughs> to Daryl Boudreau, who was awarded the 2023 Dave Rosbita Memorial Award as Athletic Director of the Year from the Canadian Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Congratulations, Daryl. <laughs> Graduation is a time of change. As we say goodbye to our 220 graduates, we also have a few staff that we will say goodbye to at this point, as they will not be back with us for next year. I would like to thank them for all their contributions that they've done to make this year fantastic. That thank you goes to the following staff. Angela Belbin, Emma Bowers, Susan Burley, Ian Byrne, Riley Cole, Glenda Ewing, Vanessa Ford, Jasmine Frizzle, Keith Kennedy, Ben McDonald, Ray Perkins, Danielle Roberts, Rebecca Sharp, and Lee Skelly. On top of that, I would like to say see you soon to a few staff that are doing something different for this year, or part of the year, Chloe McQuirk, Jane DiCarlo, Cody Campbell, and Devin Clayton. In addition to these staff, I would also like to give well wishes to a long-term Bluefield staff member who is now officially a retiree, to Darcy Flynn, Darcy has been teaching for 34 years with the public schools branch, 30 at Bluefield. His impact on students over the time is both in the classroom and outside. He's been involved with many extra activities over his time at Bluefield. I'll name a few, but again, not limited to these. 
in the Virathon, Outdoor Adventure Club, coach in various teams, and kind of known as the guru of conservation at Bluefield. He actually brought that course to us, and it's still going strong after he leaves, left. We will miss Darcy's genuine positive rapport, and we wish him best in his retirement. <laughs> to parents and guardians, I know that your students will have great memories of their high school years. They are well prepared for the challenges that they will face in the coming years. I want to thank you for your contributions that you have given to Bluefield and your students. And I would challenge you to stay involved in the next stages of your student's life. To the class of 2023, I add my voice to the many who have congratulated you. You are an extraordinary group of young adults whose leadership and keyword resilience has been proven over and over again. I'm sure that no one will forget the last three years, but I hope it's, they won't forget you folks as we set, you set forth into the world, because you've proven no matter what the world throws at you, you can take it. You can't keep a bobcat from being the best. It has been a pleasure to have watched you grow and learn and becoming adults. We have saw you develop lifelong friendships that we know you've created many memories that we hope you'll cherish forever. We do hope we prepared you well. So I challenge you to make good choices, be true to yourself, make this world a better place for everybody you come in contact with, help those that are less fortunate than you, and make sure you're lifelong learners and don't be afraid to try something new. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. Wen. I will now invite graduates Piper Barber, Erica Burke, Alex Gill, Anna Jackson, Landon McDonald, Roy Murnahan, and Jack Quigley to come forward to perform the graduation song, All That's Left to Come. Back before I met you, I left some things behind. The clouds wouldn't move, 
if the stars would align I can see in my mistakes I'm the master of none Try to love yourself first Before anyone This is who you are This is what you've done Be proud of the past And all that's yet to come chance to get ahead was cheaper than my pride there were books i hadn't read and songs i didn't write in the spirit of the truth i wouldn't compromise led me to a place where i can sleep at can't think of anything that you really need then it's safe to say you don't need anything we made it through the blue it all worked out fine and I'm better off with you in this heart of mine this is who you are, this is what you've done, be proud of the past and all that's yet to come. This is who you are, this is what you've done, be proud of the past and all that's yet to come. Thank you, graduates, for that beautiful performance. We will now proceed with the presentation of graduation diplomas, awards, scholarships, and bursaries. We would ask all guests to remain in their seats during the presentation of diplomas. A photographer will be taking a picture of the graduate receiving their diploma on stage, and another photographer will be taking a picture of the graduate once off stage. These pictures will be available to parents online after the ceremony. The entire ceremony is also being video recorded and will be available after the ceremony. Staff members Bobby Craig, Darcy Flynn, Lori LeClaire, Lizanne Sushi, Sushi and Jennifer Spence will be reading the names of the students as Stephen Wen presents the diplomas. Debbie Casey, 
Jeff McDonald, Tammy Jo Ald, and Jennifer Gillen will be announcing the awards and scholarships. Graduates, in honor of your hard work and dedication, the province of PEI, the school staff, many local businesses, service groups, families and individuals in our community, as well as many post-secondary institutions, have contributed to the prizes, scholarships, and bursaries that will now be awarded to many deserving students. I would ask the graduates to come to the stage when their name is called to receive their graduation diplomas, awards, scholarships, and bursaries. Please remain at the center of the stage until the staff member finishes speaking. Audrey Mitchell. Audrey is receiving a $500 Megan Aaron Ackerson Memorial Award presented to a deserving student who brings joy, is always kind, and gives others a lift while being rep respectful of peers, staff, property, and has a love for school and life. Audrey is also receiving the Bluefield Administration Award for deserving students who have made a positive impact in their school over the three years at Bluefield. Jack Meisner. Jack is receiving the Bluefield Administration Award for deserving students who have made a positive impact to their school over their three years at Bluefield. Dylan Cummings. Dylan is receiving the Bluefield Administration Award for deserving students who have made a positive impact to our school over the three years at Bluefield. Danelle Cameron. Nathan Sherman. Nathan is receiving the Bluefield Administration Award for deserving students who have made a positive impact to our school over the three years at Bluefield. Hannah McDonald. Jesse Aiken. Jesse is receiving a French Immersion Certificate. Evan Andrews. Evan has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and has earned honors. Okay. Juan Balderas. <laughs> Congratulations, Juan. Justin Barbosa. Justin is receiving a $750 Allen Pound Memorial Trades Bursary, the Bluefield Application Prize for Automotive 801, a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skilled Trade Certificate, and has earned honors. Piper Barber.
Piper has earned a St. Mary's $4,000 Renewable Entrance Scholarship. Piper is also receiving the University of Toronto National Book Award, a Community Service Bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Computer Studies 621, the Bluefield Application Prize for Biology 621, and has earned honours. Madeline Bastido. Congratulations, Madeline. Okay. Abigail Batchelder. <laughs> Abigail is receiving a French Mercer certificate and is a Delft level B2 recipient and has earned honors. Ryan Bell. Ryan is receiving a Bluefield Dedication Award presented to a graduate who has, over the years of Bluefield, shown academic growth despite adversity. Brooklyn Bernard. Congratulations, Brooklyn. Savannah Bevan. Brandon Blackier. Brandon is receiving a $1,000 Symbio Lions Club bursary, a $500 McDermott Appliance Repair Scholarship, a $400 PEI Road Builders and Heavy Construction Association Award, and has earned honors. Mathis Ble. Matt has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Matt is also receiving a Community Service Bursary, the Bluefield Highest Marks for Physical Education 801, and Peers Helping Peers 601, and has earned honors. Sam Bonus. Sam is receiving a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and has earned honors. Alex Brown. Congratulations, Alex. Cameron Burke. Cameron has earned honors. Erica Burke. Erica is receiving a community service bursary. Erica is also graduating from the Academy Diploma Program specialized in arts and culture and has earned honors. Hannah Burke. Hannah has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship. Hannah is also receiving a $500 Hunter River Lions Club Bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, and is a Delft Level B2 recipient and has earned honors. Molly Burns. Cade Butler. Kate has earned a, a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Kate is also receiving a French Immersion Certificate and is a Delft Level B2 recipient and has earned honors. Austin Cal. Austin is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for Carpentry 801 and has earned honors. 
Isabel Campanero. Isabel has earned a Queen's University $1,935 admission bursary. Isabel is also receiving a community service bursary, a McClellan Brennan Hergart Law Prize, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Political Studies 621, the Bluefield Application Prizes for Chemistry 621 and Math 611B, and has earned honors. Amber Callbeck. Amber has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Amber is also receiving a $500 Clara Costain, Gordy Howitt, and Heather Hickok Good Samaritan Award presented to a graduate who exhibits a compassion for humanity, animals, and the earth. A community service bursary and has earned honors. Leah Campbell. Leah has earned a UPEI $3,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Leah is also receiving a Community Service Bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Skylar Campbell. Skylar has earned a Holland College $1,750 Prince's Auto Foundation Entrance Scholarship and a Holland College $1,000 Joyce Family Foundation Bursary. Skylar is also receiving a $750 Allen Powell Memorial Trades Bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark in Automotive 801, and has earned honors. Matthew Carpenter. Matthew is receiving a Bluefield Dedication Award presented to graduates who have, over the years of Bluefield, shown consistent and persistent dedication to their studies. Mackenzie Caruana. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Sam Casford, Lance Chiasson, congratulations Lance, Ethan Clark, Ethan is receiving a community service bursary and has earned honors. Brett Klo. Nick Klo. Congratulations, Nick. Haley Cox. Haley has earned honors. Nolan Cobb. Nolan is receiving a $1,000 Provincial Apprenticeship Board ASAP Holland College Award, a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skills Trade Certificate, and has earned honors. Owen Conley. <laughs> Owen is receiving a $1,000 Paul Trainer Memorial Scholarship presented to a graduate who represents Paul's values of loyalty, integrity, honor, friendship, and a love of sport. Owen is also receiving a $500 Crapo Community Council Award.
Charlie Cork. Charlie has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Charlie's also receiving a $1,000 Cavendish Agri-Services 4-H Trust Entrance Scholarship, a Community Service Bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for Leadership 621, Physical Education 801, and Physics 621, and has earned honors. Lily Coughlin. Lily is receiving a community service bursary. Carter Crab. Congratulations, Carter. Alexander Craddock. Brianna Curran. Brianna is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Drama 801. Madeline Dukes. Madeline has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Madeline is also receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Peers Helping Peers 601, a French Immersion Certificate, is a DELF Level B2 recipient and has earned honors. Aliyah Doucet. Carson Duguay. Congratulations, Carson. Ava Dykstra. Ava has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship, a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship, and a UPEI $1,500 Glenda McKinnon Peters Engineering Scholarship. Ava is also receiving a $500 Symbio Lions Club bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for Math 611 and 621B, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Kain Eastwood. Kane is receiving a community service bursary and has earned honors. Kyla Egan. Kyla is receiving a French immersion certificate and is a Delph Level B2 recipient. Avery Ellsworth. Avery has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Avery is also receiving a Community Service Bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, and has earned honors. Carson Evans. Carson is receiving a 750 Allen Pound Memorial Trades Bursary. Carson is also awarded the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Welding 801 the Bluefield Application Prize for Robotics 801, a Bluefield Career and Technical Educational Skilled Trade Certificate, and has earned honors. Peyton Ewart. Peyton has also earned honors. Daniel Fall. Congratulations, Daniel. Daniel Fian.
Congratulations, Daniel. Brandon Fugier. Congratulations, Brandon. Dalen Gallant. Dalen is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for AgriScience 801. Nathan Gallant. Nathan has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Nathan is also receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for French Immersion 621. A French Immersion Certificate is a Delph Level B1 recipient and has earned honors. Vena Gallant. <clears throat> Vena has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Vena is also receiving a $1,000 Cimbria Lions Club bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, and has earned honors. Sabrina Gamester. Haley Gardner. Haley is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for English 671C. Alex Gill. Alex has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Alex is also receiving the Bluefield Dedication Award presented to graduates who have, over the years of Bluefield, showed consistent and persistent dedication to their studies, and Alex has also earned honors. Alice Gladstone. <laughs> Alice has earned a McMaster University $2,000 BTEC Entrance Award. Alice is also receiving a community service bursary and has earned honors. Jessica Grandy. Jessica has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Jessica is also receiving a Bluefield Dedication Award presented to graduates who have, over the years at Bluefield, shown consistent and persistent dedication to their studies. A community service bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient and has earned honors. Eli Grant. <clears throat> Eli is receiving a $200 St. Joseph's Roman Catholic Church Kelly's Cross Bursary and has earned honors. Lucy Greencorn. <laughs> Congratulations, Lucy. Katie Griffin. Katie is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for Co-op Work Studies 602. Michaela Griffin. Michaela is receiving a $1,000 Danny McEwen Memorial Scholarship awarded to a deserving student who has demonstrated a commitment to community service, has a passion for sport, and is pursuing post-secondary education a community service bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Physics 621, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delph Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Guy Grisalia. Guy has earned honors, congratulations. Jonathan Havinga. Jonathan has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Jonathan is also receiving a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Ryan Hearn. Ryan is receiving a French Immersion Certificate. Lilia Herbert. Lilia has been selected to the Canadian Armed Forces Regular Training Plan. This is a full four-year scholarship valued in excess of $125,000 to attend the Royal Military College of Canada. Oh, hold, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, 
Lily is also receiving a community service bursary, the Bluefield Highest Marks Award for French Immersion 621, Sociology 621F, the Bluefield Application Prizes for Peer Helping 601 and Leadership 621, is receiving a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B Tour re recipient, and has earned honors. Congratulations. Danielle Hardenach. Anna Hughes. Anna is receiving a $500 QP Local 3260 bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Dallas Hughes. Dallas is receiving a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skilled Trade Certificate, and has earned honors. Dylan Hughes. Dylan is receiving the Bluefield Dedication Award presented to graduates who have, over the years at Bluefield, shown consistent and persistent dedication to their studies, and Dylan has also earned honors. Haley Hughes. Haley has earned a Liberty University $6,395 Middle America Scholarship, a Liberty University 1250 Early Deposit Award, a Liberty University $5,000 Federal Work Study Award, a Liberal University, a Liberty University $1,000 Champion Award, a Liberty University $1,000 Legacy Award, a Liberty University $400 New Student Book Dollar Award, and a Liberty University Academic Scholarship. Haley is also receiving a community service bursary and has earned honors. Congratulations. Summer Hughes. Summer is earning a UPEI $3,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship. Summer is also receiving a $150 Lady Holland Chapter IODE Award presented to the graduate who has demonstrated a positive attitude and is pursuing post-secondary education, a $100 Greenvale Women's Institute bursary, a community, a community service bursary, Bluefield's Highest Mark Award for Visual Arts 601, Math 621A, and Peer Helping Peers 601, is the Bluefield Application Prize winner for Global Issues 621, and was selected to be a member of the unique and competitive Girls on Ice Canada Ella Silhouette Expedition in Glacier National Park in British Columbia. Summer has also earned honors. Congratulations, Summer. Camden Hutchison. Camden has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Camden is also receiving a $1,000 former Charlottetown District Soil and Crop Improvement Association bursary presented to a student who has an interest in and passion for agriculture. A $500 Hunter River Lions Club bursary, a $500 Cimbria Lions Club bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B recipient and has earned honors. Christian Irwin. Christian has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Christian is also receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Phys Ed 801 and has earned honors. Anna Jackson. Anna is graduating from the Academy Diploma Program specializing in arts and culture and has earned honors. Pierce Chekabowski. Pierce has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and has earned honors. Skylar Johnston. Skylar is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Physics 621A and has earned honors. Ailey Kennedy. Riley Kenefick. Riley is receiving a $100 Talk Award and the Bluefield Application Prize for Transition 602 and has earned honors. Sophia Cooley. 
Sophia has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and has earned honors. Justin Knox. Spencer Knudsen. Spencer has earned a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship and a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Spencer is receiving a community service bursary, the Bluefield Application Prizes for Creative Multimedia 801, Dramatic Arts 621, and was named Artist of the Year. Spencer is graduating from the Academy Diploma Program specializing in arts and culture and has earned honors. Kartika Lane. Kartika is receiving the highest mark award for Transition 602 and has earned honors. Zach Langdale. Zach is receiving a French Immersion Certificate and is a Delft Level B1 recipient and has earned honors. Reed Langio. Reed is also in earned honors. Grayson Laporte. Grayson has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Grayson is also receiving a $1,000 Sport PEI Scholarship, a Community Service Bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Physical Education 801, and has earned honors. Gavin Larder. Gavin is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Math 801. Carlin Larder. Carlin has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. He is also receiving a Community Foundation of PEI $1,500 Orrin Carver Scholarship, a Community Foundation of PEI $1,000 Arthur and Teresa McDonald Charitable Trust Scholarship, a $1,000 PEI 4-H Council Scholarship, a $500 Hunter River Lions Club Bursary, a Community Service Bursary, the Bluefield Application Prize for Physics 621, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Congratulations. Mackenzie Levine. <clears throat> Mackenzie is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for Global Issues 631, and has earned honors. Nathan Lawrence. Nathan has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and has earned honors. Jackson Lee. Jackson has earned a St. Mary's University $4,000 Renewable Entrance Scholarship. Jackson is also receiving a $1,000 PEI Fishman Association's member bursary, the Bluefield Application Prize for Economic 621, and has earned honors. Olivia Lee. Olivia has earned an Acadia University $1,000 Renewable Scholarship, an Acadia University $1,000 Entrance Scholarship, and an Acadia University Renewable Resident Scholarship. Olivia is also receiving a $1,000 PEI Fishman's Association Member Bursary, a $1,000 PEI Mutual Education Trust Centennial Scholarship, presented to the graduate who embodies school spirit with school and or community involvement while maintaining strong academic performance, and a $250 Margaret Taylor Memorial Award presented to a female student athlete who displays work ethic in both sport and academic achievement and demonstrates good character and positive rapport with students and staff. Olivia is also receiving community service bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Culinary 801, and has earned honors. Congratulations, Olivia. Hunter LeBlanc. Congratulations, Hunter. Emmett LeClaire. 
Emmett is receiving a French Immersion Certificate and has earned honours. Sam LeClaire. Sam has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Sam is also receiving a $150 Scott B. Dawson Alumni Basketball Award, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B1 recipient, and has earned honors. Sydney Ling. Sydney is receiving a French Immersion Certificate. William Lockhart. Congratulations, William. Michael Longmore. Michael has earned honors. Brianna Longapi. Brianna has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Brianna is also receiving a $100 Greenvale Women's Institute Bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Visual Arts 6 to 1, and has earned honors. Grace Lord. Grace is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Housing 6 to 1, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B1 recipient, and has earned honors. Madison Lowther. Madison has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Madison is also receiving a community service bursary and has earned honors. Madeline McAdam. Eve McCormick. Eve has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Eve is also receiving a McClellan Brennan Herga Law Prize, the Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for Peer, Helping Peers 601 and Political Studies 621, the Bluefield Application Prize for Math 621A, and has earned honors. Aaron McDonald. <laughs> Congratulations, Aaron. Bella McDonald, Jacob McDonald. Jacob has earned honors. Landon McDonald. Landon has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship, and a UPEI $1,000 Mary O'Kinch Music Scholarship. Landon is also receiving a $500 Kyle Bambrick Memorial Award, presented to a graduate who has demonstrated effort, ability, and a passion for music beyond the curricular setting. The Bluefield Band Award, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Music 621, and has earned honors. Malcolm McDonald. <clears throat> Malcolm has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Malcolm is also receiving a McClellan Brennan Herga Law Prize, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Economics 6 to 1, and has earned honors. Sam McDonald. Sam is receiving a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skilled Trade Certificate. Megan McDonnell. Megan is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for Resource 601. Carson McDougall. Carson is receiving a $1,000 Pam Kelly Memorial Scholarship presented to a student who has a good sense of humor along with a love of life who has the ability to enrich the lives of others, 
who has school spirit and was a member of Mrs. Kelly's grade two class at Inglewood School. Lucas McDougall. Congratulations, Lucas. Wyatt McDougall. Wyatt is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for Welding 801, a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skills Trade Certificate, and has earned honors. Evan McFadgen. Congratulations, Evan. Brianne McKinley. Brianne has earned an Acadia University $2,300 entrance scholar bursary, an Acadia University $1,500 entrance scholarship, an Acadia University $1,000 renewable scholarship, and an Acadia University renewable residence scholarship. Brianne is also receiving a French immersion certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Katie McKinnon. Katie has earned a UPEI $2,000 Leaders of Tomorrow Scholarship and a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Casey, Katie is also receiving a $500 Melissa Lank Memorial Award presented to a student who has shown a commitment to community service and to their faith and has demonstrated inspiration, encouragement, and support to his or her peers. Katie is also receiving a community service bursary and has earned honors. Kayla McKinnon. Congratulations, Kayla. Tovin McKinnon. Congratulations, Tovin. Evan McLean. Evan has earned a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship, a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship, and has earned honors. Jeremy McLean. Jeremy is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for English 671A. Zachary McLean. Zachary has earned honors. Braden McLeod. Congratulations, Braden. Liam McLeod. Liam has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Liam is also receiving a community service bursary, a French immersion certificate, and has earned honors. Mackison McLeod. Congratulations, Mackison. Paige McLeod. Paige is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Transition 602, the Bluefield Application Prize for Visual Arts 601, and has earned honors. Tyson McLeod. Tyson is receiving a $750 Allen Pal Memorial Trades Bursary. Hayden McLeod Peters. Hayden is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for PEI History 621B and Welding 801, a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skill Trade Certificate, and has earned honors. Ian McNevin. Ian has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and has earned honors. Emma McPhee. Congratulations, Emma. Ella McPherson. Ella is receiving a French Immersion Certificate and has earned honors. Tyler McCory. 
Congratulations, Tyler. Nevea Marshall. <laughs> Nevea has earned an Acadia University $8,000 renewable scholar bursary, an Acadia University $1,000 entrance scholar bursary, an Acadia University $500 renewable scholarship, an Acadia University renewable residence scholarship, and has earned honors. Noah Maynard. Noah is receiving a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Sydney Masaryk. Sydney has earned a Dalhousie University $4,000 Oxford Frozen Food and Associate Award, a Dalhousie University $1,200 Renewable Bursary, and a Dalhousie University $1,500 Entrance Shep Agri. Sydney is also receiving a $300 Agri Science Prize, a $100 Cornwall Vet Clinic Award presented to a graduate who has a positive work ethic and passion in animal sciences, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Animal Science 621, the Bluefield Application Prize for Math 621B, and has earned honors. Finn McCourt. Finn has earned honors. Daphne McGrath. Riley McKinnon. Riley has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Riley is also receiving a Bluefield Dedication Award presented to graduates who have, over their years at Bluefield, shown consistent and persistent dedication to their studies, a community service bursary, and has earned honors. Ewan McTavish. Ewan is receiving a $200 Ron McLeod Memorial Bursary presented to a graduate who has shown determination and effort in their studies and is planning to pursue post-secondary education. The Bluefield Application Prize for Animal Science 621 and Music 621, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient and has earned honors. Bella Mill. Congratulations, Bell. Lola Miller. Congratulations, Lola. Aliyah Minor. Aliyah is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for AgriScience 801. Malcolm Mitchell. Joe Moak. Joe has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Nicholas Molyneux. Nicholas is receiving a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skilled Trade Certificate. Dawson Montgomery. Congratulations, Dawson. Connor Moreland. Connor is receiving the $250 DeltaWare Systems Inc. Award and the Bluefield Application Prizes for Computer Studies 621 and Culinary 801. Aaron Morrell. Aaron has earned a $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship and a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Aaron is also receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for Housing 621, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Libby Morrison. Libby has earned a Mount Allison University $4,000 Renewable Enhanced Entrance Scholarship and a Mount Allison University $2,000 Community Leaders Award. Libby is also receiving a 
$1,000 Marshall McIsaac Memorial Award presented to a deserving graduate who has demonstrated a passion for music with the purpose of entertaining others and making people smile. A French Immersion Certificate is a Delft Level B2 recipient and has earned honors. Larissa Muirhead. Larissa has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and a UPEI $835 Francis Dindile Memorial Entrance Scholarship. Larissa is also receiving a $200 Patricia Wiegers Norman Memorial Music Award given to a deserving graduate who has demonstrated passion and talent for music. The Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Music 621 and has earned honors. Colby Monroe. Colby is receiving a community service bursary, a French immersion certificate, is a Delft Level B1 recipient, and has earned honors. Colby was also named our Male Athlete of the Year. Roy Murnahan. Roy is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Peers Helping Peers 601, a French immersion certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Jackson Murphy. Jackson is receiving a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skilled Trade Certificate and has earned honors. Olivia Murray. Olivia has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and has earned honors. Noelle Nielsen. Congratulations, Noel. Kirsten Newman. Kirsten is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Peers Helping Peers 601 and has earned honors. Davis Nicholson. Davis has earned a St. Mary's University $4,000 dollar renewable entrance scholarship. Davis is also receiving a $1,000 Glenn Clark and Memorial Bursary awarded to a graduate who displays a strong work ethic, perseverance, and commitment to their studies. A $500 4-H Central Region 2021 and 2022 Communications Scholarship, a Community Surface Bursary, and is a Delft Level B2 recipient. Davis is also graduating from the Academy Diploma Program specializing in arts and culture and has earned honors. Zach Noy. Zach has earned honors. Josh O'Neill. Billy O'Regan. Congratulations, Billy. Maddie Perry. Maddie is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Biology 801 and has earned honors. Kennedy Peters Ellis. Kennedy is receiving the Kingston Legion Award the Bluefield Application Prize for PEI History 621B and has earned honors. Dominic Pino. Dominic has earned a Holland College $3,000 entrance scholarship. Dominic is also receiving a Community Foundations of PEI $1,000 Matt McKenna Scholarship for Academic Improvement and Community Involvement a $1,000 PEI Mutual Education Trust Centennial Scholarship presented to a graduate who embodies school spirit with school and or community involvement while maintaining a strong academic performance, a $150 Scott B. Dawson Alumni Basketball Award, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Accounting 621 and Physical Education 801, the Bluefield Application Prize for English 621, a French Immersion Certificate is a Delft Level B2 recipient and has earned honors. Faith Pino. 
Faith has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Faith is also receiving a Bluefield Dedication Award presented to graduates who have over their years at Bluefield shown consistent and persistent dedication to their studies, a French Immersion Certificate, a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Logan Pino. Logan is receiving a $750 Allen Pound Memorial Trades Bursary and the Bluefield Application Prize for Math 801. Olivia Pott. Olivia has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Olivia is also receiving a $500 Heath and Elizabeth McDonald Bursary awarded to a graduate who demonstrates work ethic both in their community and in their academics. A community service bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and Olivia has earned honors. Sophia Pivavarova. Sophia has earned a UPEI $8,000 Renewable Entrance Scholarship and has earned honors. Emma Quigley. Emma has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Emma is also receiving a Community Service Bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Co-op Work Study 602, a French Immersion Certificate, and Emma has earned honors. Jack Quigley. Jack is receiving a Bluefield Dedication Award presented to graduates who have over their years at Bluefield shown consistent and persistent dedication to their studies, a community service bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, and Jack has earned honors. Bella Quinn. Bella has earned a UPEI $6,000 Renewable Joyce Family Foundation Award, a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship, and a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Bella is also receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Leadership 621 and has earned honors. Zoe Rankin Maestro. Zoe is receiving a French Immersion Certificate and is a Delft Level B2 recipient. Zoe is also graduating from the Academy Diploma Program specializing in arts and culture, and Zoe has earned honors. Lily Robichaud McLeod. Lily has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Lily is also receiving a community service bursary, the Bluefield Application Prizes for Oceanography 621 and Sociology 621F, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and Lily has earned honors. William Robertson. Congratulations, William. Mitchell Rod. Mitchell has earned a Holland College $1,750 Princess Auto Foundation Entrance Scholarship. Mitchell is also receiving a $750 Allen Pound Memorial Trades Bursary, a $150 Sintrac Print and Graphics Inc. Prize, presented to a graduate planning to attend post-secondary education who has demonstrated perseverance and resilience a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skilled Trades Certificate, and Mitchell has earned a Community Service Bursary. Brandon Runge. Congratulations, Brandon. Colby Russell. Colby is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for Accounting 621 and has earned honors. Quinn Sakley. Congratulations, Quinn. Isabel Scott. 
Isabel is receiving a community service bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Peers Helping Peers 601, the Bluefield Application Prize for Photography 801, and Isabel has earned honors. Max Sentner. Michaeli Shaw. Michaeli has earned honors. Kaya Shaw. Congratulations, Kaya. Sabrina Shaw. Sabrina is receiving the Bluefield Application Prize for Visual Arts 621 and has earned honors. Joshua Shokunbi. Congratulations, Joshua. Lindsay Smith. Lindsay has earned a St. Thomas University $1,500 Renewable Athletic Residence Award. Lindsay is also receiving a community service bursary and a French immersion certificate. Peyton Smith. Peyton is receiving a $500 Daryl Guignol Memorial Bursary, presented to a graduate who has a passion for the environment and climate change and has taken positive steps to help in this area. A community service bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for Oceanography 621 and Robotics 801, and Peyton has earned honors. Ellie Solomon. Ellie has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Ellie is also receiving a Community Service Bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and Ellie has earned honors. Jerica Spates. Jerica has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and a UPEI $500 H. Wade McLaughlin Raised Expectation Award. Jerica is also receiving a Community Service Bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, and is a Delft Level B2 recipient. Janae Spence. Janae has earned a Mount Allison University $10,000 Renewable McCain Scholar Award, the Eleanor M. N. McCain Award, and a Mount Allison University $2,000 Renewable Herbert S. Sharp Scholarship. Janae is also receiving a $1,000 PEI Mutual Trust Centennial Scholarship, presented to a graduate who embodies school spirit with school and community involvement while maintaining a strong academic performance a $1,000 Ronald D. Quilty Memorial Bursary, presented to a graduate planning to further their studies in science or agriculture and has demonstrated a passion in this area. A community service bursary, a $250 BioVector Inc. Chemistry Prize, a $200 Stuart McKelvey Law Prize, a McClellan Brennan Herga Law Prize, the Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for Visual Arts 601, Biology 621, Chemistry 621, Creative Multimedia 801, English 621, Global Issues 621, and Photography 801. Janae is also graduating from the Academy Diploma Program specializing in arts and culture, and Janae has earned honors. Jacob Spurl. Congratulations, Jacob. Evan Stewart. Congratulations, Evan. Ben Stride. Ben is receiving a community service bursary. Congratulations, Ben. Elsie Tweel. Elsie is receiving a community service bursary, a Bluefield Student Council Award, 
the Bluefield Application Prize for Physical Education 801 and has earned honors. Elsie was also named our Female Athlete of the Year. Gabe Tweel. Gabe has earned a UPEI $500 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Gabe is also receiving a $500 Hunter River Lions Club bursary, a community service bursary, a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B1 recipient and has earned honors. Mila Taylor. Congratulations, Mila. Ashlyn Thistle. Ashlyn has earned a Holland College $1,000 Joyce Family Foundation bursary. Ashlyn is also receiving a community service bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Physical Education 801, and Ashlyn has earned honors. Charlotte Thompson. Charlotte has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Charlotte is also receiving a $200 PEI Retired Teachers Association Young Leader Award presented to a student who demonstrates leadership in school activities, who actively volunteers in community activities, who kindly supports or mentors other students within the school and is dedicated to school work. Charlotte is also receiving a community service bursary. The Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for Dramatic Arts 621, Physical Education 801, and Peers Helping Peers 601, and Charlotte has earned honors. William Thorpe. William is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for English 671C, and William has earned honors. Laura Lynn Trainer. Congratulations, Laura Lynn. Juliana Turner. Congratulations, Juliana. Isaiah Vale. Isaiah has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship. Isaiah is also receiving a $1,000 North River Fire Department Bursary, a $1,000 Allen Pound Memorial Compassion Award, presented to a Bluefield graduate who demonstrates resilience and perseverance, a $500 QEH Internal Medicine Department Scholarship, awarded to a graduate who displays a strong work ethic, perseverance, and a desire to succeed, a $100 Greenvale Women's Institute bursary, a $100 Bright Light Award, chosen by the Bluefield staff and presented to a student who is genuine, kind, brings joy to others, and is a friend to all, and Isaiah has earned honors. Maggie Vanderkoy. Congratulations, Maggie. Cody Voss. Cody has earned honors. Congratulations, Cody. Haley Walker. Haley has earned a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship and a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Haley is also receiving a community service bursary and has earned honors. Chloe Walsh Al Sayed. Chloe is receiving a community service bursary, a French immersion certificate, is a Delph level B2 recipient, and Chloe has earned honors. Samantha Watson. Congratulations, Samantha. Nicole Watts. Nicole has earned a UPEI $3,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. 
a UPEI $2,000 Dr. Julian Jaynes Memorial Entrance Scholarship and a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship. Nicole is also receiving a Community Service Bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for Leadership 621, Physical Education 801, and Peers Helping Peers 601, a Bluefield Student Council Award, and Nicole has earned honors. Taylor Watts. Taylor is receiving the Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for Global Issues 631 and Resource 601, and Taylor has earned honors. Laurel Wigmore. Sophie Willis. Sophie has earned a Carleton University $1,000 Renewable Entrance Scholarship and a Carleton University $1,000 Faculty of Engineering and Design Entrance Scholarship. Sophie is also receiving a $500 PEI Air Cadet League of Canada Award. A French Immersion Certificate is a Delft Level B2 recipient and Sophie has earned honors. Andrew Wilson. Andrew is receiving a $1,000 North River Fire Department bursary, a $1,000 R. Snow Brothers Construction Scholarship, a Bluefield Career and Technical Education Skills Trade Certificate, the Bluefield Highest Mark Awards for Carpentry 801 and Peers Helping Peers 601, a French Immersion Certificate is a Delft Level B2 recipient and Andrew has earned honors. Brittany Wilson. Congratulations to Brittany. Brittany has earned honors. Anna Walters. Anna has earned a UPEI $2,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship and a UPEI $2,000 Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship. Anna is also receiving a $150 Central Queens Award presented to a former student of Central Queens Elementary who has shown dedication in their community and school and a strong effort towards their academics. A $100 Greenvale Women's Institute Bursary, a Community Service Bursary, the Bluefield Highest Mark Award for Peers Helping Peers 601, the Bluefield Application Prize for Political Science 621, and Anna has earned honors. Caleb Wright. Caleb is receiving a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. Faith Zerhide. Faith has earned a UPEI $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Faith is also receiving a French Immersion Certificate, is a Delft Level B2 recipient, and has earned honors. This concludes the presentation of diplomas and achievement awards. Congratulations to all of our graduates. We will now present the Special Achievement Awards, Highest Academic Aggregates, and the Governor General's Award. I would ask Debbie Casey to come forward. Gold B Awards are presented to graduates who have demonstrated a positive attitude, aspired to excellence, and who have made outstanding contributions to school life at Bluefield. The 2023 Gold B recipient is Elsie Tweel. I would ask Jeff McDonald to come forward. The Sherry Galloway Memorial Award 
is presented to the graduate who has best combined academic excellence with leadership in student affairs and athletics. This year's recipient is Janae Spence. I would ask Stephen Wen to come forward. The Father Clarence Roach Memorial Award is presented to a graduate who has demonstrated an excellent academic standing together with initiative, leadership in student affairs, and good citizenship. This year's recipient is Nicole Watts. I would ask Tammy Jo Ald to come forward. The Aaron McFadgen Chason Memorial Award is presented to the graduate who has been involved in life at Bluefield, has exhibited school spirit as a proud Bobcat, demonstrated friendship to all students, and who has made an impact in the entire student population through kindness, inclusion, and a genuine personality. This year's recipient is Colby Monroe. I would ask Stephen Wen to come forward. The prizes for this year's highest academic aggregates are as follows. A prize to the graduate ranking sixth in grade 12 is equally merited by Jessica Grandy and Libby Morrison. A prize to the graduate ranking fifth in grade 12 is awarded to Dominic Pino. A prize to the graduate ranking fourth in grade 12 is awarded to Leah Campbell. A prize to the graduate ranking third in grade 12 is awarded to Nicole Watts.
A prize to the graduate ranking second in grade 12 is equally merited by Lilia Herbert and Summer Hughes. A prize to the graduate ranking first in grade 12 is awarded to Janae Spence. Graduates, please stand. The Governor General's Medal is presented to the student with the highest academic average in all of their grade 11 and 12 courses. The recipient of the 2023 Governor General's Medal is Summer Hughes. I now call on Davis Nicholson to give the valedictory address. Graduates may be seated. Grads, we did it. We've made it to graduation day. Look at yourself and around at our classmates and be proud of what you've accomplished these past three challenging years. We are here representing the class of 2023 Bluefield graduates, and at times, it wasn't easy. We aren't in here alone today, and we weren't alone in getting here. We have reached this stage today because of the work of our administration our teachers, our coaches, and our school supports and guides. Whether it was your grade 10 math teacher greeting you in the halls years after taking his class, the new band teacher taking you to a gold standard, or the coach that led you to provincials, or even a banner. Throughout the time at Bluefield, we have all had someone to encourage, lead, and care for us. To our families, we also owe our gratitude our parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, 
and caring adults, our families were there to push when we needed one, listen when we had things to say, and even support us when we were learning online. Thank you for your patience, perseverance, and love in getting us to this point. And to our friends, just a few days ago, we were at our prom and party. Shout out to all the great parents, volunteers, and grads who helped organize both of those events. And it was amazing to talk and catch up with so many members of the class. Perhaps some of you may not remember the details of that night like I do, but there was something I consistently noticed. People in our class have individuality, big personalities, and big ideas. We grew friendships, dreams, and memories during our Bluefield years, and we will leave here rich with experiences and ready for the next chapter of our lives. Bobcats, we have an endless road of opportunities ahead of us. We have faced so many challenges throughout these past school years. It feels like just yesterday, walking into a classroom with people wearing masks and being assigned cohorts. However, as the years went on, we overcame fears, anxieties, and worries, and met them with determination and grit. Many of us here, including myself, have had our own personal struggles and challenges we've had to overcome. I know from experience, being diagnosed with a degenerative disease in my first year of high school is not something you deal with easily. However, it's not stopped me from walking up here to speak to you all in this moment right now. Facing adversity is never easy, and at times, we felt like giving up. But with many roadblocks along the way, we found the detours to get around them. Despite the countless incidents we've had this year, we've adapted to the unexpected, and we should all be proud of how far we've come together. We've learned from the past, and we are here now gathered to celebrate the present, but what lies ahead for our future? It seems like there's so much unrest and challenge in the world right now. With wildfires across the country and a devastating hurricane this year, there are some hard-hitting problems to face. Yet, there has never been a time for so many opportunities to make a difference, to use our talents and skills, and make big impacts on the challenges ahead. I know that the graduates of 2023 are ready to take it on. My father, a student of the graduating class from Bluefield back in 1981, was given a poem called Desiderata, which has many inspiring quotes about our perspectives, our futures, and our lives. One of my family's favorite sections from the poem goes like this. You are a child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars, you have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt, the universe is unfolding as it should. The last line was something I held on to, no matter how difficult times would be or how challenging life could become, there was always a reason for it. From kindergarten until grade 12, our plan was laid out for us, and we knew where we would go next, until now. No two people are the same, and every one of you all have a different plan that will unfold, and in it, we'll see good days and bad days. Some of us are going to university and college, while others are taking a gap year or entering the workforce. However, with all this newfound independence and freedom, I want to emphasize that we should never feel committed to these plans, and that we may choose to go wherever we please at whatever time is appropriate for us. I'd like to end on one final note with a poem by one of my favorite artists, Eric Lopez or Eric DOA. To be stuck is to be immobile. To be stuck is to endure the horrible taste of failure. To be stuck is to never reach your destination. However, you are not stuck. Because even though that cage seems everlasting, desire outlives decay. Grads, Find something you love doing and do it. Don't ever feel stuck from a situation or career path you never intended. We are always a work in progress. We have an adventure awaiting us ahead, grads, and that adventure starts now. Well, Ali Oak, thank you. Bluefield class of 2023, we're out.
That was great. Thank you, Davis. We've reached the conclusion of uh, today's ceremony. I just want to make one note. Uh, for graduates and guests, uh, you are invited to uh, take pictures following the ceremony. We just ask that you please be respectful of, of the, uh, all of the sound equipment that's around you here today, okay? And uh, you may use the stage in the backdrop area for, for pictures after the uh, ceremony's con concluded. So now, guests, we ask you to please remain in your seats as the graduates and staff exit the arena. Thank you for being part of the celebration, and congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you.